And welcome back everybody once again to the 2016 CTM Advent Project from the CTM community. I am TJ the Obscure here with you and today we are playing Hidden Forge by Evil... <laughs> I don't know, Evil Rinto. Evil Rinto is the most logical choice there, right? Evil, evil are into, evil are into. Uh, evil, evilra, I, whatever, e Evil Rinto. Map number 15. I just want to uh, give a little correction. Last last episode we did the not-so-shiny map from Dream and Wonder, and Dream and Wonder is in fact a woman, a, a miss or a missus. Uh, not, not, not a missus, I'm pretty sure a miss. Uh, and so I just wanted to, to, to clarify that. For whatever reason, my brain, I think, just just uses the he pronoun and we do that actually in a lot of areas of our lives it's a pretty it's a pretty common thing that you notice whenever you do analyses of like large bodies of texts or uh or people's speech patterns and stuff that uh at least at least in america people will default to the he pronoun for whatever reason um it's actually a really interesting subject uh, which I suggest you investigate yourself, because I'm not going to talk any more about it. <laughs> but I do apologize for that mistake that I made. All right. Uh, the core of the forge. Yes, what's the name of this one? The forge, right? The hidden forge, something like that? Hidden forge. And this one kind of has cool lore to it. Uh, in this universe, uh, Christmas is actually like a, uh, a a bad holiday. And Satan Claus comes to like terrorize the people or something like that. And so we are we are out to defeat. Oh, why is oh there's string? There's string. There is string. Can't you place this in MC Edit without having to do the string? I I would think so. Ooh, wow, you guys. Okay. Okay, we are very wealthy. Very very wealthy indeed. Uh, this seems like a good holiday so far. I mean, we get we get all this these free free goodies and. Salt. Uh, yes, I named this with an anvil. P.S. Had. There's an ongoing joke about how the lore text should not be the default purple. Um, honestly, as long as I can read it, I don't care what color it is. I even have that rule in my classroom. Like I encourage my students to get creative with their essays and make some make some interesting design choices. You know, uh, most of them do not take me up on that offer. Most of them just give me the plain old boring stuff. But I have had students in the past do some rather rather interesting things. For example, uh, I had a student write an entire essay like in text message internet speak. So, you know, like using you, the letter, instead of you, Y-O-U, and using LOL, and, you know, just, just doing, doing a lot of stuff. And it was really, really interesting to see that. And uh, that that's more messing with the uh, the subject matter itself, the the, rather than the, the formatting of the essay, but I also had a student write an essay in spiral form, so the paragraphs like spiral, spiraled either inwards or outwards. It was really fascinating. Oh, this, this semester I had a student um, who actually, uh, yeah, we should probably play the map, huh? I think we should probably play the map. I got my blocks, got my shield. All right, I think we're ready to go. But I had a student take uh, the time machine uh, the story of the time machine with the the Morlocks and the Eloys, and use that as a metaphor to describe the current political atmosphere in uh, in the U.S., which I thought it was it was really cool. Honestly, by the end, I was like, I have no freaking idea why why this comparison makes sense to you, but it was still really cool to see them try that out. Okay, we definitely want the stone sword. Not sure. Not sure why we got the wood sword too, but we will take it for now. And let's go ahead and grab ourselves just a little bit of coal. Just a little bit of coal. Just to hold this over. Give us a few more torches. Looks like we have a couple of different options as far as where we want to go here. Maybe I do need to grab that wood out here. Maybe that would be a good idea. Perhaps, perhaps. You might hear my daughter in the background. I do apologize for that, but she is a baby and if I tell her to shut up, she just kind of looks at me and, <laughs> and and laughs and smiles. And I know in her in her in her in her mind, she's thinking, "Ha! 
Ha! I have annoyed him once again. Uh, but there's really nothing I can do to prevent that. And I know apologizing for it is, is kind of ridiculous to begin with. In fact, some guy, or one of, one of you guys even told me, like, don't ever apologize for your children. I don't know, it's just, just, I, my, my mom raised me to be very polite, I guess. Um, always say please and thank you. And I think it's actually turned out to be, in some respects, a bad quality, because I, I can be overly polite, and I think it gets on people's... People's nerves. I am just talking, top, ta la la la, talking up a storm. Talk a lockin, ta talk a lockin a lot, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of. All right. I guess we don't have many options. We are going this way, but this should lead us down to where we were. I think that spawner already went off. Overpowered loot. Thank you. I needed the wood. Wood actually is pretty overpowered. That is just light up there. Nothing uh, to concern ourselves with. Block! Block! Attack! Block! Attack! Block! Attack! And you are dead. And you are dead. And we are victorious. Oh, gosh. You, oh, both of you guys kind of scared me. Hit the creeper! Hit the creeper! Oh, man, really? I got, I, yes, yes. Oh, no. It didn't work. Didn't work. Didn't work. I am hiding. I am hiding under a bush. What are you going to do about it, guy? What are you going to do about it? Are you really going to fall down here? Okay, well, I won. I won. You made the wrong decision, guy. Wrong decision, Mr. Skeleton. Okay, boom. Taken care of. And... Light it up. Do they spawn with shovels? Is that what's going on here? Yes. Yes, uh, because I attacked the zombie first, the zombie will not track onto the skeleton. Um... Which is rather unfortunate, but I should be able to kill him and then defend against this guy. Sometimes you guys take so long to draw your bow, and then other times you go just like, okay, we clearly need to come destroy your home. Ha! Home has been destroyed. Um, okay, do I want to go? I think I want to go down eventually, right? Right? That leads us back up. Do we really want to be going back up? I don't think we want to be going back up. Let's light that up. Ooh, those guys do hit pretty hard. Thankfully, I have this stake, which should help out. Which should help out. Oh, that spider seemed to do quite a bit, too. What is going on? Why is everybody so dang powerful? All right, back up and slowly dispense of the shovel-wielding zombies. Although I just realized I don't have that many arrows. So I think we want to try to preserve those as best as possible. And die! Die! Do not blow my chest! No! Gosh dang it. Let's see, let's see what, what the dang creeper did to us here. Oh, oh, I thought you were a zombie. You are not a zombie, though. Ha! Ha! I just wanna, I just wanna do this guy. Alright, just very slowly. Gonna take that out. I'm gonna come over here and collect my loot. Another shield, another shield, and lots of snowballs. Definitely want those guys on. Definitely want that. And some speed. Definitely safe to drink. That makes me rather suspicious. It does indeed. Let's go ahead and grab the wood. And this is an efficiency one pick. I will take it and we will exchange those as well. And grab the ladders. And I'm pretty sure that's just taking us up, uh, back up to the top. So I don't think we really need to worry about it too much. And you, Mr. Creeper. Are gonna die from a distance. It's modern warfare. I simply press a button, and you, and you perish. And I don't have to feel guilty about it. No, I do not. All right, water down there. But what was in this other direction then? I love, I love all these choices I'm having to make. You guys makes it so much more exciting for me. And explode! Thank you. See, I even I even thank the creepers for being so nice to me. Oh gosh, oh gosh, 
Okay, light it up, light it up. Maybe, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. Block, block, get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. And eat the steak. Tasty, yummy beef jerky. Did he hit the zombie? He did. Oh, oh thank you, guys. Thank you. We are on the same side. And, of course, then I turn around and I stab you in the back. Alright, some nice boots, it looks like. Uh, oh, yes, these are orcish boots. You must be close to the forge. Fantastic. Oh, uh, go ahead and get rid of all of these snowballs and stuff because we don't need them. We just don't need them. I feel so bad for my wife. You might hear her as well. She's had a pretty terrible cough for like... Oh, I didn't grab that. For like a week now. And it's just not... Not going away. Not going away. Okay. I think if we were to just dig through the wall right there, we would end up pretty close to where the water is. Eh, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Let's consolidate torches. Nothing up above. Ooh, I almost just walked right off there. Okay. Light it up. I went right, and there were things, so we're going left, because there are also things, but hopefully there are fewer things. Um, boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. None of you can get to me. Ha. Unless it's a poisonous dude. In which case, he can definitely get to me. But we look safe. We look good. Totally secret forge. Oh, it's well camouflaged, I must say. With the with the gray blocks blending in with the with the red netherrack. Oh gosh, hello. Alright, we clearly need to get over here. And take these guys out. One two and I knew I was not gonna get it before they hit me. But that's okay. That is fine by me. Oh, more blocks, thank you. And health, I'll take it. And protection one armor. Ooh, and more steak. Steak, I feel like, is, is such an overpowered food source in maps. I don't see people using chicken very often. I kind of wonder why that is. Uh, more arrows. And a really good sword. Actually, actually, it's not a very good sword. It's as good as the sword that I have. So. <laughs> So that's kind of <clears throat> kind of pointless. Oh, but it but it matches his. It matches his. Maybe I want to match your sword, guy. We'll we'll have the same. So look, we have the same sword. Same sword. And I kill you with the sword that you have. It's like in the movies where the the bad guy like kills the father and takes the sword and then ends up <coughs> trying to kill the son with the same sword. You know, it's like that kind of dynamic going on here. Which makes the pigmen my children, and I am their and I am their father. Who the heck just shot me? I think he's down below, is where he is. If it had smite for, then then I would definitely. Man, pigmen have been nerfed like no other. Oh, maybe we don't have the same swords. They have sharpness one iron swords. Not cool. Not cool at all, guy. Uh, remember pigmen? They used to be able to wreck you from like three blocks away. <laughs> And now, like, I can get, yeah. Dude, you're stuck in a hole. Do you really expect to do much damage to me, huh? And let's kill you with your own fireball, guy. Thank you. You take out that blaze, cancel his attack, and take him out. Oh, and I just missed. And I missed. All right. Uh... Yeah, let's let's take out the remaining spawners before we get any crazier here. And you and you and try to our best to avoid some of that stuff. Did not work out though. Uh the blazes and the skeletons are what I'm mainly worried about here. Gosh dang it. Gosh dang fire. Evil evil fire. Really, you're not dead yet, huh? Okay. No. 
Bad Blaze. Bad, bad Blaze. Alright, can we get down here? And just... Oh, I really wanted to knock him off into the lava. Oh well. Oh well. That's okay. I wonder if there's anything cool down there. Down where? Oh, down there. Um, uh, maybe? Could be a trap. It could definitely be a trap. Really? Really, guy? Really? <laughs> Gosh dang it. Alright. Back up we go. Uh, jump. And almost fall off, apparently. Um, boop. Alright, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Oh, where'd you go? Where'd you go? You're too quick for me. Too quick for me. Light it up. Have I gotten all the spawners? Looks like there's still a couple more. Gosh dang it, guy. Let me destroy the homes. Before you... Before you hit me. And then I'll let you hit me once, and then I'll kill you. Oh, gosh dang it. No, no, no. Okay, definitely using that guy. Definitely using that guy. I did not want to get one shot after I was talking smack about these guys. I need to back up so I'm out of range of their spawner. Stop weaving all over the place, dude. Just straight line. Straight line. That's the quickest quickest path to, to, to from point A to point B. Oh, I actually did take out the spawner. Interesting. Okay. And you... I wonder how much more there is of the map. Oh, root beer. Yummy, yummy root beer. I will take it. I will most certainly take it. And a better bow, which is much, much appreciated. And that, and that, and that. And a red shield with protection, too. Does that actually work? Does that actually give me protection too? I don't think I've ever encountered a protection enchantment on a shield, so I'm not entirely sure how it works. Is there anything in the thing? Nope. Nope, apparently not. Alright, back up. I didn't get that good of a look at the room. Alright, there's a spawner up above then. Let's see if we can get in there quickly and take them both out. Well, actually, that would make three spawners, correct? I think so. And you. And then we need to go up. Which is what the ladder is for. Oh gosh, okay, okay, okay. I see all you guys. I see you. The guys with the with the iron and the axes, they terrify me. The other ones aren't too bad. And you? Ooh, this is nice. This is nice. I am definitely enjoying it. That looks like it could be a boss fight, maybe? Nope. Denied. Alright. Let's check and see what was in this room. An anvil. Um, I don't know if I can really do much with the anvil. And shields. Better pantalones. Ooh, I like that. I like that a lot. Let's do something like that, maybe. Uh, I think the pick that I have... Well, they're pretty, pretty close. But I can make a better pick on the anvil, so... Um, go ahead and exchange that. Nothing like a nifty little shortcut, eh? Okay, so this is going to take us back to the beginning of the map, I'm assuming. We'll leave that for later, then. Speed 3. Okay. Alright, feeling very, very powerful here. That is an enchanted chest plate right there. First and foremost, let's make ourselves a better pick. 
and then grab this, see what it is. Protection 2? No thank you. No thank you, but I will take the sword. And that way I can uh, combine those guys. All right. Uh, I think I think we're good to go, right? Right? Yeah, maybe. Good. Fantastic. Let's go. Let's go and see what this room has in store for us. A pigman dude, but he's way over on the side there. Was he really? Is he really supposed to be over there? Is there something like underneath the staircase? No. I wonder how he ended up all the way over there. Okay. Okay. Whatever you say, guy. Um, did I not read the book? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Here on Earth, Christmas is a joyful holiday. However, you are not on Earth. You are on planet Dearth, where Christmas is the most dreaded day of the year. On this fateful night, uh, Satan Claus breaks into the front door. Then he steals whatever he chooses. After that, he takes the loot back to his forge in the South Pole to melt it all down and turn it into weaponry for his elven army. Believing the elves were not evil enough, he turned them all into orcs. Even worse, he steals candy from babies. You're on a mission to find the forge and destroy it. Before that day comes, once again, all you need to do is take the core from its place, but if only it were that simple. Okay. I, I, got, I got the lore down pretty well, I must say. Do that, and then block off, and destroy. This looks like it could be the forge, perhaps. I think we want to go right first. Um, okay. Let's back up a little bit. And try to avoid that guy. I feel like things are going to start dropping on my head right now. Um, don't you love special item chests labeled with sand? Give me some privacy, please. I sure diddly do. Power three. I will take it. And some additional arrows. I never did switch those out, did I? Alright. What are you, though? What are you? Projectile protection two, huh? I am good on that, I think. Oh, gosh. Oh gosh. I feel like he was he was running at me faster than the other ones. This is okay, it just one shot that other guy, I guess. I should have saved the uh the snowballs to be honest. So they would be handy against the blaze. You and you and they're all coming for me. Oh there we go. There we go. Falling from above. What did I tell you? Alright, let's make use of this fantabulous axe that we have. Am I really just knocking them all off, like one by one? It things it seems like it uh, one shots the berserkers, perhaps. Continue to light things up. Go ahead and do it, Mr. Creeper. Go ahead and do it. Although I would like to block that off. And be gone. Be gone, evil pigmans. Eat the steak. Eat the steak. I need to take out this dang skeleton, please. Because he is really driving me insane. Alright. Um, light it up. That actually won't do anything. So let's go ahead and do that. And get him away. Get him away. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. I don't know where you came from, guy. Oh gosh, okay, we're getting out of here. We're getting out of here. We're getting out of here. Run away, run away, quickly, quickly. Ooh, man, they just started, started raining down from the sky. Thank you. All right, down you go. You apparently have stopped tracking me for whatever reason. And you can go as well. All right. I thought I needed to eat, but apparently not. Apparently not. Uh, that is glass right there. Oh, they messed, messed things up. Gosh dang it. Um, where, oh, where are all of the spawners? Where, oh, where might they be? I saw it right there. 
These blades are making me very upset, though. Come on, people. Come on. Oh, gosh. Okay, we're going to hop over here. Just everybody push everybody off, please. Have a have a party in the lava. Lava party. It's time for a lava party. Oh gosh, he just jumped. He wasn't even he wasn't even like I'm not even gonna get pushed, I'm just gonna jump. Cause I'm feeling frisky today. Frisky snowmen are always the most dangerous snowmen. Let's see if we can do something like this. Orcish Berserker. Uh, let's do that. And take out a zombie. Come on, Blaze, stay away. I didn't know you could shoot armor stands like that. That's pretty funny, actually. Oh, I backed myself into a corner here, haven't I? I most certainly have. I most certainly have. I want to check and see what this is all about. I'll take it. Uh, just go, 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 go. Run, 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 run. And take you out. Oh, gosh. And they're coming down the ladders. They are smart. Smart pigmen. Smart pigmen. Very, very smart pigmen. Ooh. Ooh, good job, Evil Rinto. This is a fun one. This is a very, very, very fun map. I am enjoying it tremendously. Oh gosh, no, no, no! Get down, get down, get down! Why am I, why am I not getting down? Oh! Do you see what happened? The freaking, the freaking blaze pushed me up the ladder, man. Gosh dang it! Gosh dang it! I didn't really leave much gear for myself either. All right, well, we gotta hurry back. Gotta hurry back. Thankfully, I think I've, I've pacified things for the most part. Uh, except for this area, huh? Yeah, I didn't do a very good job of pacifying this area, I don't think. We can hopefully jump down. I should have unlocked the shortcut there is what I should have done. Um, oh, great. Oh, great. Lovely. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. Get it, got it, get it, get it, got it, get it, get it, la, 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 la. Okay. Fantastic. Keep taking that damage, guy. Well done. Oh, come on, Mr. Skeleton. Dodge the arrows. All right, let's go. Go. Oh, there's a chest over here that I never did get. Oh, thankfully, with some good stuff. Thank you. And these guys get off of my feet. Evil, evil brown boots. Oh, and we actually... Hey, look at that. We got good stuff, you guys. We actually got some, some things. We got the things. We got all of the, all of the things. Give me the dang sword, please. I already have a better sword than that. I don't I don't need your dang sword. Give me that, though. Thank you. And the pants. Thank you. And the helmet. All right. We are re-geared. A little bit of steak. The only thing I don't have is blocks. Give me... Where's the fastest way to get blocks? All the blocks, please. All right. Go, 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 go. I could probably, like, tower up to the top of it, but I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to take the cheaty route. We're going to try to do this legit, if a possible. I'll take it. Sharpness four. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. I don't even know if I need the gear that I had. I'm good. You can, you can keep it. You can keep it. Try to dodge that fire or not. Or not. But we will not mess with that. Just keep going fast, fast, fast. Uh, I think those are my things, actually. One. Two. Get down, get down, get down, get down, get down. Oh gosh, he's, he's still coming for me. Uh, just block, 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 block. Okay, he could probably just, like, jump over there somehow. Um, die. Die, Evil Blaze. Die, Evil Blaze. Oh, gosh. 
these are not very not very good. I actually do have arrows. I actually do have arrows. Okay, uh, let's do that. And let's try to take this guy out. And you can go ahead and die there, Mr. Mr. Dude. Oh, come on, get up here quickly. A lot of my things seem to have burned up, most likely. But that is qu quite alright, because I'm pretty sure... Oh, no, look, look, all my things nice and preserved for me. Fantastic. Uh, I don't think that's what we wanted. But whatever. Whatever. Oh my gosh, so many things, you guys. So many things. Okay. I think we're good. I believe this is... The core of the forge. The core of the... <laughs> that's even what it's labeled. The core of the forge. Thank you for... For labeling it for me there, guy. And we got some water as well. Alright, I don't think we're going to have any difficulties getting out of this place, though. Uh, can I just... Can I just do something like this, please? Thank you. Woo! Woo! That was fun. That was fun. Especially the recovery there at the very end. I've said this a million times, but I, I really do enjoy dying. <laughs> Sometimes. Uh, that thrill of, like, and the adrenaline, like, oh my gosh, my things, and you have to... It's, it's, it's hard, you know? So I really like it. Especially when it's a... Well, that was kind of a messed up death there, actually. Oh, you know what I just totally ignored? I, I ignored the shortcut. I don't know which would be faster. I think it might actually be faster to just go back this way. Um, but yeah, I... And the blaze pushed me up, but I probably could have been a little bit more cautious, I guess, going in there. So, ultimately, it was, it was my, my fault. Um, but yeah, really, really nice, nice little map, and love the story behind it. And love the difficulty level as well. I, I especially liked, and I think this is hard to pull off, but in a small map, it really seemed to progress in difficulty. Uh, quite nicely. Um, the end, the very end, maybe could have been a little harder, because you're just in that little room with those those couple of spawners, so it's not it's not too bad, right? Man, I'm really I'm really taking the long way around, aren't I? All right, here we are. The core of the forge has been placed. Do 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 do. We are victorious. Alright guys, that's going to be it for me for today. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.